Hey there guys, it's Mr. Kozort coming at you with a introduction to Dreamweaver tutorial uh, walkthrough. And of course we'll be looking a little bit at HTML. So uh, we've covered this a little bit in class, but this is for you to kind of review uh, if needed. I have opened up Dreamweaver and it's asking me if I want to create a new HTML document. Now, side note, I'm recording this in 1024 by 768. And uh, that means that uh, some of the interface is gonna be a little scrunched. Uh, for you with bigger screens and higher resolutions, you're gonna be in better shape. Uh, so things may look a little different, just be aware of that. I'm gonna go here to HTML document and it's gonna come up with options. Um, I wanna make sure none is selected. Uh, document title is uh, my web page, you can make that more or less whatever you want. Uh, we are gonna stick with HTML5 and we're not gonna play with templates yet or anything like that. Again, here in Dreamweaver, I'm gonna go ahead and create that. Um, depending on how you last quit out of Dreamweaver, things may look a little different here. Um, if the bootstrap update comes up, just say, remind me in four days, we're not doing that right now. Um, I've currently got mine in split mode. Uh, we're usually gonna be working in code mode. So uh, go ahead and use that. And as you open up a new HTML5 document here in Dreamweaver, uh, you'll notice that you've already got some pre-made lines that you didn't have to type yourself. Uh, someday you may have to type these yourself, so it's always good to uh, memorize them, but uh, some of this we've already gone over a little bit in class. Uh, the doctype.html, or rather space HTML has got this exclamation point in the front. All this means is HTML5. Um, and as a side note, if you want to comment in uh, your HTML, there is a special way to do that. It's going to be this, these two characters, and then dash dash. Uh, and then here's a comment. And then dash dash, and we close it up with that greater than, less than symbol, opening and closing. So this comment is a, a line or a piece of code that doesn't run. It's there only for people looking at the code. The people who see the web page will not see that. Uh, so those of you that are just getting used to coding uh, or programming, this is a pretty important piece of the puzzle because it's gonna give you information you might need if you're looking at the code and trying to figure out how it works. In this case, I'm actually gonna change the comment to, this tells the browser that this is HTML5. And of course, our favorite web page, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new Chrome window over here. Our favorite web page is, at least for now, W3Schools. Okay, so there it is, W3Schools. And that is because when I want to know about uh, anything HTML related, it's a great resource. Um, it'll give you an introduction. It's a great learning tool. So when I ask you to do things like, for example, build a web page uh, about an important uh, place in space and time in the history of computer science and technology, like we're doing, um, you can come here to get different information. And really, uh, between how these things actually function and how you can make them look, um, th this reference is gonna give you everything. So if I go to headings here, it's gonna give me an interactive way to use headings. Um, and this is W3Schools, of course. And I can add other code in here. If I threw a paragraph tag in just for fun, this is a paragraph. All right, and then I would close my tag there, and then I can run it. It's gonna insert that code. So it's actually not a bad way to not only test your code uh, in the context of what you're looking for, you can test just about anything code-wise in here um, that you would wanna test out uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript later on down the road. So um, yeah, we'll look at that. So this is, uh, again, this is Dreamweaver. You've got uh, your standard HTML code here in HTML. In the head, we've got a title that we set up actually when we created the web page. But if you wanted to edit that, you could do that there. Um, you've got this uh, block which designates the character set. Um, an important block of code, but not something we're really going to cover uh, today. And then you'll notice that um, you have a body down here. And the body is going to be anything uh, that you see. And so, uh, for example, if I put a heading in here. And I say, welcome 
and I close the tag. So I open and close it. Uh, and then I come up here and I say file and preview in browser, which my default browser is set to Google Chrome there. Then I'm going to save this as index.html. What I'll ask you to do later on is save that in a folder, uh, specifically somewhere other than your desktop. But you can see now I'm previewing this in Chrome and uh, it says welcome, which isn't all that exciting. Uh, one thing to note about tags. They can be arranged that way or this way. Usually you wouldn't want to arrange them this way because I just increased the line of code by three, right? By uh, two extra lines. So if I preview this, and I'm going to go ahead and hit F12 there to preview it. It looks the same. But if I inspect the code, the code itself, of course, is different. See, there it is looking different. Um, and I'm inspecting this, of course, in Chrome. Uh, I'm just going to right click there and go to inspect and I can see the code really of any web page uh, where that's possible. So there's your heading tag and the text in here is going to render in a certain way. Another thing to note is that text will by default render in a paragraph tag. So you're, you're probably thinking, what do you mean by that? Well, I wrote welcome in there. It's not inside any tag other than the body tag and uh, it renders as well. So those are the basics of Dreamweaver. When you save files and want to manipulate files, which we'll go into later, a lot of that stuff uh, is over here. Uh, my Again, my menus are kind of scrunched because of the resolution, uh, but there's that. And again, there's uh, again a reintroduction of Dreamweaver. Uh, remember to file save as and remember where your file is. In this case, mine went to uh, a folder called ECS Spring 2016, but uh, you might use your documents or desktop. Later on, we'll formally set up your folder structure so that you can uh, utilize that. All right, that's an introduction to Dreamweaver.